Hello everybody, today I'm going to be ranking every single Five Nights at Freddy's character. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, because there's 104 of them I'm going to rank. I'm not going to rank people, except for Phone Guy, because he technically wasn't a human in Ultimate Custom Night. Those are pretty much the only rules. Actually, no, there are two, two more. I'm not going to be ranking any skins from FNAF AR. And I'm not going to be ranking anything from Five Nights at Freddy's World. Anything else goes. All the other characters are in. FNAF World, no. Because they're just so different. It's, an R it's a cute RPG. Um, and AR just has so many skins that it'd be impossible. If you want me to make a separate video on ranking all the skins, maybe I'll do it. Um, but I'm going to get straight into it. I'm not going to talk about any of the characters. Um, until we get into my top 10, and then I'll start talking about them. I think, I'll just talk about them if I want to talk about them, okay? Uh, that's just how this is gonna work. Number 104. The Nightmare Endo and the Blacklight entered FNAF Hub Wanted minigame. Um, if you don't know who this is, I don't blame you, because it's in FNAF Help Wanted, but... Um, it's kind of hard, and you'll miss it, even if you look directly at it. It's gonna be like one foot in front of you, and you'll still just forget about it. But, just turn the black light on, um, and then go to Vent Repair, and go to Entered, and then, then that thing's just standing right in front of you. That's the only time you ever see the Nightmare Endo. 103. Pan Stan, from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. 102. Bucket Bob from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. 101. Mr. Candu from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. The reason this is higher than the other um, ones is because this one is a little bit more vibrant, has more colors. Uh, 100. Number 1 Crate, same reason as Mr. Candu. Number 99. Plush Can Patch Baby from FNAF Hope Wanted. This is basically just a skin of a plush baby. 98. Mr. Hugs. The reason this is higher is because of Five Nights with Mr. Hugs that Toy Freddy plays in Ultimate Custom Night. Number 97. XOR from Ultimate Custom Night. You might be a little confused why this one's so low for me. But that's because it's it's just it's so boring. We already have DD, and this is basically DD but spawns in six characters instead. It's like it's just too similar. It should just be DD. 96, I mean. Paper Pals from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I don't even know why I included these guys. I just included them because I was looking for, um, like, things that listed all the FNAF characters, and Paper Pals were on them almost every single time. I don't understand it, but whatever. I included them anyway. There are actually two characters that are on here that I didn't see on anybody else's list. Um, which was the Nightmare Endo, which was at number 104th place. And number 87. I know, because I've done this video like seven times, but I just messed it up. I accidentally spoil stuff on accident. I'm bad at that. Number 95. Electro Bab from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. At this point, I absolutely love every single character after Electro Bab. Number 94. Hand unit from FNAF Sister Location. <laughs> Number 93. Pig Patch from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. First Mediocre Melody. Number 92. I just started the timer, didn't even mean to. Um, is Phantom Angle from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Number 91. There's Candy Cadet from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 90. Is Ned Bear from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 89 is Nightmare Boss from FNAF Security Breach. Number 88 is the Endoskeleton from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Number 81 is Shadow Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's Hope Wanted. This is not a fan-made creation. Although this one, I don't know how many of you guys are going to know what this is, or where this is, or who this is. But this is Shadow Mangle. It's found in Five Nights at Freddy's Hope Wanted. 
and the vent repair, the mango vent repair, if you turn on the black light mode, then there's two mangoes that come after you. There's a mango that's just regular mango, and then there's that shadow mango that comes at you. So, yeah. Um, there's, there's a shadow mango. There's a shadow every character. Not really. Number 86. Endo 02 from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 85. Old Man Consequences from Ultima Custom Night. The reason that this one is way higher than you would expect is because, um, I think it's cool how, um, he's in FNAF World and Ultima Custom Night and how, um, if you do, like, the secret Old Man Consequence thing with, um, Ultimate Custom Night, then even if you don't have the trophy in FNAF World, it'll just give you the trophy in FNAF World. It's really cool. Number 84. JJ from FNAF 2. Number 83. Rockstar Chica from Final Fantasy Freddy 6. Number 82. Burn Trap. Um, this confirms that this is my least favorite version of Spring Trap. Um, number 81. DJ Music Man from C Five Nights of Freddy's Security Breach. <laughs> Number 80. Orville Elephant from Five Nights of Freddy's 6. Number 79. Plush Baby from Five Nights of Freddy's Help Wanted. Number 78. Endo 01 from Five Nights of Freddy's 1. Um, I'm just saying this right now. If this was in any other FNAF game, this would be at the bottom of the list. Like, the very, very bottom. Um... But the only reason it's up this high is because it's from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And I like FNAF 1. Number 77. Mini Arenas from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Number 76. Freddles from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I have a very good reason to absolutely loving these things. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit into the lore here. Just a little bit. The reason I love Freddles is because... Um, they, they kind of tell us something very important, so does Nightmare Foxy, but, um, in FNAF 4, we're playing as Michael Afton, after the event of, um, us killing our brother, the crying child, and with the Fredbear suit on accident, um, and then our father was torturing us with the animatronics by scaring us with them, and then it caused us to have nightmares every night. And that was the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 thing. It was just Michael Afton's nightmares. Um, and that's kind of proven with, like, the, these things right here, these freddles. Because there's one, there's a plushie. There's a, a cute Freddy plushie that if he touches his nose, it makes a honking sound. But when you turn around the next time, there's going to be that thing sitting there instead. Um, which just means that he's just... All that that cute lovingness of of Freddy's just completely went away from all the events that happened to him in his life, and turns all this stuff into monstrous creatures. <laughs> I know that got way too deep into the lore than it should have, just for a ranking a character, but I love Freddy so much because of that. Number seventy five, Phantom Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's Three. Number seventy four. R-W-Q-F-S-F-A-S-X-E, a.k.a. R-X-Q, a.k.a. Shadow Bonnie. Number 73, Mr. Hippo from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Hate his jump scare. I've been accidentally jump scared by him like seven times. Number 17, I mean, 12, I mean, for 72. Betty Pab from Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Number 71. Music Man from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 70. Phantom Balloon Boy from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Number 69. Happy Frog from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. My favorite mediocre melody. Number 68. Yendo from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Number 67. Bonnet from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. 66, number 66, Jacko Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 4 DLC. Number 65, El Chip from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Don't ask me why I like him so much, I just do. Number 64, Rockstar Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 63, Phantom Marionette from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Number 62, 
Nightmare Mango from Five Nights at Freddy's 4 DLC. Number 61. The Blob from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Number 60. Vanny slash Vanessa and FNAF Help Wanted slash Security Breach. Um, I'm just gonna mention a couple of things. Here, um, with this character, I have so many different things up here. Because when she has the costume on, I'm about to kill somebody. Then she goes by Vanny. Um, and then without it, she's just a normal person. Her name is Vanessa. Um, and she was actually introduced in Help Wanted. Um, with the Curse of Jedbear DLC and the Corn Maze, um, level. Uh, down in the basement. When you find all keys, including the purple one. Um, but a lot of people just think she's from Security Breach. So that's why I also listed Security Breach there. Cause why not? Number 59. Phantom Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Number 58. Jack O'Bonny from Five Nights at 40, Freddy's 4 DLC. Number 57, Lulbit from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Number 56, Phantom Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Number 55, Spring Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Number 54, Balloon Boy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 52, Rockstar Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 53, Sun Drop from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Number 31, Mini Music Man from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Number 50, Nightmare from FNAF 4. Number 49, Bon Bon from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Number 48, Dee Dee from Ultimate Cost of Night. Number 47, Withered Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 46, Monty from Security Breach. Number 45, Toy Freddy from uh, FNAF 2. Number 44. Funtime Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. F number 43. Toy Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 42. Helpy from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 41. Um, Rockstar Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 40. Shadow Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. The reason he's actually up this high is because of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. That's the only reason he's up this high. Number f uh, number 39. Ballora from Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. I said that really weird. Number 38. Phone guy from Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 3 plus Ultimate Custom Night. I didn't even know which game to list here. Number 37. Moontrap from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Number 36, Dreadbear from Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted DLC. Number 35, Nightmare Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Number 34, Glam Rock Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Number 33, uh, Withered Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 32, Roxanne Wolf from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Number 31, Fred Bear from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Number 30, Nightmare Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Number 29, Plush Trap from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Number 28, Glamrock Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's the Security Breach. Number 27, Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Number 26, Toy Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 25, Scrap Trap from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 24. Nightmare Balloon Boy from Five Nights at Freddy's 4 DLC. I thought I heard someone whispering. Number 23. Uh, press the wrong button. Number 23. Nightmare Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Number 22. Nightmare Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Number 21. Scrap It Baby from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. I said that kind of weird. Number 20. Withered Golden Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 19. Nightmare Ion from Five Nights at Freddy's 4 DLC. Number 18. Funtime Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. 
Number 17. Wither Chuka from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 16. Molten Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Number 15. Wither Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 14. Grandma Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Number 13. Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Number 12. Funtime Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Number 11. Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. I really wanted to put Foxy in my top 10. Trust me, I did. But I just had to be honest, he wasn't quite in the top 10. Number 10. Ennard from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Number 9. Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Number 8. Lefty from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. The only reason he's up here is because it's the marionette inside. Number 7. Glitch Trap from Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Number 6. Nightmare Fred Bear from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Also, back about what I said about the Freddles with Michael Afton and, and him having nightmares. Night 5 is basically like the final boss of that, because it's the final nightmare. Um, it was the five days leading up to it. Um, on the fifth day on the party, he, he got his head, he got his brother's head taken off by Fred Bear. On the fifth nightmare, he's nightmaring about Nightmare Fred Bear. I don't know. I'm just connecting unneeded stuff. Number five. Golden Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. I absolutely love Golden Freddy. Number four. Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. We all expected this here. Um, don't even have to explain why. Um, but my top three drastically just changed. If you would have asked me this yesterday, I would have said something completely different. Number three. Circus Baby from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Yesterday, this would have been my number two spot. Number two. Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. This would have been my number one spot yesterday. And the number one spot today would have been my number three spot yesterday, but I put so much thought into it. And I determined that the best Five Nights at Freddy's character in the entire franchise is the marionette. And I don't think you can really blame me for this one. Because the marionette is just so awesome. Um, with the lore. That's where it really got me. Because I loved the lore of Mangle. But it's just so much better with the, with the marionette. It was just Charlie. It was um, William Afton trying to get revenge. And then he um, he killed Charlie. And then the security puppet went to go protect her. And it was raining. She collapsed down onto Charlie. And then they merged souls. Kind of like Charlie's soul went to the security puppet. <laughs> now we know it as a marionette right there. She brought life to the original. Um, like, the, like the FNAF 1 location stuff. Um, William started to notice all of this stuff happening, and then he thought he could bring his, his son back to life. You know, the one that Michael Afton shoved into the Fredbear animatronic. There's so much stuff, and the only reason all of it is possible is because of this character right here. So, I don't, I just love this character, because of all the lore. If it was, if there was no lore in this game, in this franchise, I wouldn't even play it. Like, it wouldn't even be fun anymore. I probably would, but... Um, I love the lore of the marionette. There's just so much. There's so much. And her getting trapped inside of Lefty and stuff. It's so cool. Um, um, my number three and number one are totally different. They're, like, exact opposites. One of them is the good guy's daughter. And one of them is the bad guy's daughter. One of them is complete evil, and one of them is super kind and nice, like the marionette. Um, well, anyways, um, if you want to see more ranking videos, comment down below saying, we want more ranking videos, and then tell me what you want me to rank, and I'll rank it.
Um, if you honestly, if you have any video idea, comment it, and I might do it. Um, but anyways, that'll be the end of this video. I suck at outros. Goodbye.